गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू जॉइंट वेंचर सो ये पी क्यू एंड आर इंटर इनटू जॉइंट वेंचर ऑफ ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट देर आर थ्री पर्सन्स वन इज पी पी वन इज क्यू एंड वन इज आर दिस थ्री पर्सन्स वर एंटर इनटू ए ए जॉइंट वेंचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड रुपीज वन लैक इज द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट price if they completed this contract they will get 1 lakh rupees so what's the contract price contract price is rupees 1 lakh so if they completed this contract they will get 1 lakh rupees it's a income it's a income for pq and or it's a income for a business so who will receive this income a joint Back. Now the next one rupees forty thousand, rupees twenty thousand, and rupees twenty thousand were invested by P, Q, and R respectively, and joint bank account was opened. So here P, Q, and R and R invested uh, a capital. P invested forty thousand, Q invested twenty uh, thousand, and R invested twenty thousand, and these investment were deposited into a joint bank. Account. So the second point, P invested how much? P invested forty thousand, and Q invested twenty thousand, and R invested twenty thousand. Deposited into joint bank. Now. Come to third one, third transaction. They purchased material for rupees sixty thousand. So to complete this contract, they require material. Uh, for that, they purchased material. So purchased material, purchased material rupees sixty thousand. This is a income or expenses. This is a expenses. And who paid these expenses? Here there is no specific information whether the sixty thousand were paid by P, Q, and R. So we have the information. So that all the material purchased, made to P purchased, made to na Q purchased, made to na R purchased, made to na. In such circumstances, uh, it is stated that these expenses were made by joint bank. Now come to the next transaction. P paid architect fees of rupees one thousand. Q paid sundry expenses two thousand and R paid cement for rupees four uh, thousand. So the fourth transaction is P paid architect fees one thousand and Q paid sundry expenses two thousand and R paid cement rupees four thousand. And these expenses were paid by P, Q, and R and not the joint bank because. Here uh, they uh, they have given clear information that this architect fees was paid by P and sundry expenses paid by Q and cement expenses paid by R. So these are our expenses. Expenses. Now come to the next transaction. Mr. P was allowed three percent commission on sales. So here P is getting. Three percent commission on sales. It's income or expenses. This commission is a income for P, but it's a expenses for a joint business. So it is expenses for P. It is a income because P is getting a commission. So it's a income for P, but for a business, it's a expenses. So and uh, this uh, money is paid to. Mr. P, this commission is paid to Mr. P. So this is the problem. Now treat uh, transactions one by one. Now prepare ledger accounts. Here we have to prepare mainly three ledger account. One is uh, joint venture account, co ventures account, and joint bank account. So what's the first transaction? Contract price rupees one lakh. So after completing the contract, uh, they are receiving one lakh rupees contract price. It's an income for a business. So in income side, write down income side rupees 
one lakh rupees one lakh who will receive this one lakh joint bank because all the transactions were made through joint bank so by joint bank so each transaction has two effects one is debit effect one is credit effect so uh, here credit aspect is over now the same transaction should be uh, treated uh, in debit side where in joint bank account in joint bank account debit side debit side 1 lakh rupees 1 lakh rupees to joint venture joint venture because a joint bank is credited in uh, joint venture joint bank account is credited in joint venture so that's why in joint bank account 1 lakh rupees is debited the name is given joint venture account so first transaction is over now come to the second transaction the second transaction P contributed 40,000, Q contributed 20,000 and R contributed 20,000 and these money were deposited into joint bank. So come to joint bank. So joint bank it's a, in, it's a receipt or payment. A P, Q and R depositing money means it's a receipt for joint bank. So 2 P, 2 Q, 2 R. So. P deposited 40,000, Q deposited 20,000 and R deposited 20,000. So one aspect is over, the debit aspect is over. For the same transaction, we have to make another entry that is cross posting where here P, Q and R is debited. So in P, Q and R account, make a credit entry. So by here P, Q and R debited in joint bank. So here by joint bank, how much P? P 40,000, Q 20,000 and R 20,000. Now the second transaction is over. Now come to the third transaction. Purchase material for 60,000 and it's expenses. And there is no specific information that whether these expenses were paid by P, Q and or in such circumstances, uh, these expenses were paid by joint bank. It is a expenses. Who paid these expenses? Joint bank. So an expenses side to joint bank. How much? Rupees 60,000. Rupees 60,000. One aspect is over. So for the same entry, we have another aspect that is credit as debit aspect is over. For the same transaction, we have to make a, a credit credit entry. So here joint bank here sixty thousand is debited in joint bank account. So come to in joint bank, in joint bank account opposite side. So by joint venture, how much sixty thousand. So debit and credit entry both are over now come to the next entry P paid architect fees 1000 Q paid sundry expenses 2000 and R paid cement 4000 so these expenses were paid by P, Q and R and not the joint bank so these are all expenses so record in expenses uh, expenditure side first expenditure paid by P that is architect fees in bracket you can write down uh, architect fees if you require you can write so how much 1000 and Q paid sundry expenses sundry expenses how much 2000 and R paid cement how much 4000 so debit aspect is over now for the same entry we have to make uh, another uh, aspect that is credit aspect so here p q and r is debit debited now come to 
uh, credit side in P, Q and R account. So by joint venture account, joint venture because P, Q and R is debited in joint venture account. That's why here joint venture, how much P? 1000 Q 2000 R 4000. So this transaction is also over. Four transaction is also over. Now the last transaction, Mr. P was allowed 3% commission on sales. Here P is getting commission. So this commission is income for P, but for joint venture account, it is a expenses. For business, it is a expenses. So in the expenditure side, right now, here we are giving commission to Mr. P. So P account, to P account, in bracket, you can write commission, how much commission? Um, 3 percent on sales how much sales sales nothing but uh, the contract price here it's a contract price or sales so your sales is how much 1 lakh so 1 lakh multiplied by 3 percentage so how much 3000 so for this um, for this entry we have to make a cross posting so here p is debited so in p account it should be credited how much 3000 here by joint venture P 3000 Q nil and R nil. So all the transactions were over. All the transactions were over. Now make balance of accounts one by one. First make a balance of joint venture account. The joint venture account here credit side is uh, more. So 1 lakh in both the side 1 lakh both the side 1 lakh and the balancing uh, figure is balancing figure is 30,000 this 30,000 is considered as to profit on joint venture this is the balancing figure p bar f and this profit is distributed to p q r so in this problem there is no information was given for the distribution of profits so in such circumstances, it should be assumed that the profit should be distributed among uh, co-venturers equally. If they given a specific ratio, you have to divide the profit according to uh, such ratio. But in this problem, they have not given any ratio for dividing profit and loss. In such circumstances, it is assumed that the profit is divided equally. So here the profit is how much? 30,000. That should be divided uh, equally between P, Q and R. That is 10,000. 10,000 and 10,000 so joint venture account is over but for this entry we have to make cross posting because every transaction has two aspects one is debit one is credit so here debit aspect is over P, Q and R is debited now in P, Q and R account make a credit entry so by joint venture so P 10,000, Q 10,000, R 10,000. Now 
make a balance of co-venture account make a balance of co-venture account so 40,000, 50,000, 54,000 54,000 and here 20, 30, 32,000 32,000 and here 20, 30, 34,000 So make a balance in credit side. There's no entry. Fifty-four thousand. Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-four thousand. Now. Here debit side the balance figure is the balance figure will be 54,000 32,000 and 34,000 so this will be considered as balancing figure so balancing figure so this is the final settlement uh, made to uh, p q and r who will make a settlement the joint bank joint bank so two joint bank to joint bank the co venture account is over but every transaction has two aspects so one aspect is over that is 54,000, 32,000 and 34,000 is debited in co venture account so here joint bank is uh, debited so in joint bank account credit side so 2 P account 2 Q account then 2 R account so how much P? 54,000 Q thirty two thousand and R thirty four thousand. Now make a balance of joint bank account. So joint bank account sixty thousand plus fifty four thousand sixty thousand plus fifty four thousand plus thirty two thousand plus thirty four thousand. So one lakh eighty thousand from your debit side. So one lakh plus forty thousand plus twenty thousand plus twenty thousand. So one lakh eighty thousand. So joint bank account uh, get balanced. If this account balanced, your answer is right. So this is joint venture account and this is co-venture account and this is joint bank account. In this problem only the additional uh, adjustment is only commission. Here we have allowed commission to Mr. P. So it's a, for P it's a income but for a business it's a expenses. So to P we are providing commission that is 3% on sales. Here sales nothing but the contract price. Uh, so 1 lakh multiplied by 3% means they are getting 3000 rupees as a commission to P. So in P account you have to make a cross entry. In P account you have to make a cross entry of 3000. So by joint venture account. So this is joint venture account, this is co-venture account and this is joint bank account. Okay, thank you students.